Welcome to This Bites For You. My name is Ziggy. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly cool your AMD GPU, your video card, without having to use third-party apps like the ASRock Tweaker, MSI's Afterburner, or Sapphire's Tricks. Now, you can always use those if you'd like, but if you don't want to have another application to download and install, this is for you, and it comes right with the AMD driver. So, let me show you real quick. When you're using your computer, you're playing a game, or you're using an application that utilizes your GPU, your card's gonna get a little bit hotter. Your card's gonna heat up, and then you're gonna see your fans spinning like they are right now. A lot of the manufacturers in their firmware or in their BIOSes for the video cards like to keep it at a zero dB when the card's not in use too much. And you know, it's great because it keeps it nice and cool, but I want my card cool and quiet at all times. So. In this case, with AMD, if you right click on the background, as long as you have the driver installed, the 20 series driver, you right click on the background and then click on AMD Radeon software. Okay, from here, you're going to click on the performance tab. Right now, my GPU utilization is relatively low. While I am screen recording, as you can see right now, probably in a big loop. While I am screen recording, it doesn't take a whole lot of GPU cycles because there's not a lot of action going on on the screen. Okay, you see a little, few little blips over here, uh, but it's still relatively low. So jumping over to tuning, here's where we're going to do all of the magic, but going back to metrics, so I'm just going to load Firmark real quick, which stresses your GPU, causes it to heat up a little bit, let me put on 8x MSAA and click on here and we'll click OK. By the way, this is from Geeks 3D Firmark. It's a free download. It's a great utility to use. So you can see right now my GPU utilization is right over here at 99, so essentially 100. So at this point, we'll go over to tuning. We'll click over here under tuning control, switch to manual switch to GPU tuning, I'm sorry, to fan tuning, we'll enable this over here, and under advanced control, we'll enable this over here as well. Okay, so we can see the temperatures right now are at 60 degrees Celsius. Junction is a little bit higher. And then down here, we can see where we can set the predefined zones for your fans to spin up, okay? so. Again, right now we're at 60 degrees here. So there's not a whole lot going on temperature wise. The fans are taking care of what they need to. Over here under metrics, we can see we're still at 100. So going back to tuning, okay, and let me go ahead and re-enable this over here. I haven't applied the changes. That's why it went all back to default. Click over here. So let's say we find this too hot. Or for example, let me go ahead and stop firmark real quick you'll notice back on metrics gpu drop down again so coming back to tuning so we don't have to keep clicking on that i'll apply those changes as you can see right now the fans are spinning so right now this is the lowest it'll go this is let's say about maybe 30 or so and i like to keep my card nice and cool even if I'm not doing anything with it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and raise this to, let's say, 50% and right around here. Okay, so now if I click Apply, now you're hearing those fans spin up. The current temperature is dropping quickly, and with that, the junction temperature, of course. Now, mind you, you don't need it to be that high. We can set everything back, so I'll click back over here, put everything back to defaults, and then I'll come back over here. I'll apply those changes, and then the fans drop down again. So now, if I wanted to keep my card nice and cool, I'll probably go ahead and raise this a little bit over here. And then I'll raise this here so that when it reaches this temperature right over here, it's going to go ahead and raise up here. And then I'll go ahead and we can see down here, 62 degrees. 
Okay, and then at 62 degrees, the fans are gonna spin up. They're gonna spin up to about, let's say 75%. If I raise this a little bit more, they're gonna speed up to maybe about 85. And then I'm just going to max this out right over here. Now, this is keeping my card incredibly cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply those changes. As you can see, the card got a little bit louder. Okay, it's still at 41 degrees here. I'm gonna go ahead and stress this out. I'll click go over here. So you see the fans are revving up incredibly fast and we can come over here. So here we can see the clock speeds and the voltage. And then over here we see the fan speed. So they're not at full yet. But if I were to, let's say just bump this up all the way So 3,594, let's say 3,600. Okay, so that's just a quick, easy way so that you can monitor and you can Put, so you're going to monitor right over here, but that way you can monitor and set your own fan curves. I have talked a lot about fan curves in the past, and you can check out my other videos on it as well. But you can set your own fan curves. If it's too loud for you, you can just go ahead and drop those. Keep the card nice and quiet. Of course, the more quiet you keep your cards, the hotter the card's gonna get. And that the same thing goes for NVIDIA as well. Mind you, these are AMD drivers. This is only going to work for AMD cards, but that's just as an example. I've made this video on the XFX Radeon RX 5600 Thick 2 Pro, not because the card gets hot, but it is because it's the card I had to show you guys with. And I wanted to give you full control of your card, your temperature, your fan speeds, and with all of that, of course, your noise levels, helping you keep it down, or if you don't care about the noise levels, raise it as high as you like, keep the card nice, cool, and quiet forever. So with that, go ahead and comment down below with any questions or concerns you may have. As you may or may not already know, I often chat with my community, help you guys out with any and every issue you may have, and I'm hard-headed. I'm gonna stick at it, you know, as much as I can to try to help you guys out. So go ahead, like, and subscribe, and click on the bell notification. That way you know when I come out with videos just like this to help you guys out with everything you're doing. Now, if you want, information on how to install the card and the unboxing of the card and everything go ahead and check out the two videos here and then you can always click right over here to subscribe as well again iggy with this spike for you trying to keep you guys in control of your pc iggy see you guys